Hey everybody, this is Daniel the Transporter from San Antonio, Texas working with Uber and Lyft. This is another video that I'm making for drivers. Uh, if you guys want to check out my other two videos, the first ones that I made last night was with promo codes. If you want to take some real free rides with uh, Lyft and Uber, check out that video. There's another one which raises the question, which company takes better care of the drivers uh, between Uber and Lyft? I answer that question there. This video is for new drivers and it's also for existing drivers. These are tips that have made me very successful in what I'm doing and I want to share those tips with you. These are our tips. These are not requirements. Don't hate guys. If you don't want to do them, don't do them. You can leave your comments below, but don't be a hater. Come on guys, you do it if you want to. If you don't do it, it's better for me anyway and I'll explain why. I go above and beyond what the company expects me to do. Uber and Lyft expects you to keep your clean car, be courteous to the customers, driving from point A to point B, that's it. That's the role, right? I go above and beyond. I go and offer more things because I don't want to just be a driver to take you from point A to point B. I want to drive I want to be a driver that gives you a good right experience from point A to point B. My concern is what happens between point A and point B. Are you having a good time or are you just sitting there on your phone? I want to make sure that you're having a good time that this ride is different than any other ride and than any other driver out there and that's what's going to make me more valuable than those that don't do this. And the value is going to show on the ratings that you're going to get and the value is going to show on the most important part here on the compensation that you're going to get from them at the end of the ride okay have if you give them a good time they're going to take care of you that's usually how it works let me give you my spiel everybody that gets in my car and i can tell you everything that i offer in this spiel you get in my car i start the ride they get comfortable back there and this is how i go listen i know it's not a long trip uh, but I got a couple of things here to try to make your ride a little bit more enjoyable. I have bottled water if you're thirsty throughout the entire car. Little bottles of water. Help yourself if you're thirsty. I also have gum. Different flavors. Just let me know which one you like. I've got mints, all toys, Tic Tacs if you're interested. I also have hand sanitizer. If your hands are dirty, you need to get them clean. I got some hand sanitizer for you. Is your phone okay? Is it is it dying? Because I happen to have a charging station. What, you didn't bring a charger? It's all good. I got chargers for all types of phones. Just let me know what kind of phone you got. I'll hook it up for you from, from you know, and we'll get your phone charged between here and wherever we're going, okay? Also, how is the temperature in the car? Are you comfortable? Is it too hot, too cold? I can make adjustments. No, it's good? Okay, great. Is there anything you like to listen to on the radio? I have several things programmed on the on the channels here. Rock, R&B, oldies, whatever you want. I also have XM Radio. If there's anything particular you like to listen to, sports or whatever, here's a list of channels. Just let me know what you want to listen to. We'll put it on there for you. Is there anything else that I can do for you to try to make this ride more enjoyable? Please let me know. I'm at your disposal. All of them, the same response is, man, you're very attentive. Wow, you're very accommodating. Well, I never had an Uber and Lyft ride that offers so much. You got any cocktails back there that try to be funny? You know, and I'm like, well, obviously not, because I wouldn't be good to you as a driver if I had liquor in the car. But, you know, uh, those are the things that I get. Wow, I, this is awesome. And all everybody says is okay. We, that's the experience. I have a welcome video. The welcome video pretty much describes everything I just mentioned in a, in a slideshow. And I, why did I do that? I, you know, I can say it to every a writer, but why did I do a, a welcome video? Because you got to know your people. Not everybody's a talker. Some people want to get in the car, just lay their head back and relax. They don't even want to talk. They don't want to listen to music. They just want to get to their They had a long day. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to have a conversation. Just drive me where I need to go, right? That's what I'm paying you for. So I still want to be able to offer my best, a good experience. So I put a, I don't want to bother them if they don't want to talk. I'm not going to talk if they don't want to talk. I put the, the welcome video on. Welcome video, that's a slideshow, explains everything. It's a funny video, it's got funny pictures on it. You know, I'll have to show it to you guys. If anybody's interested, let me know on the comments. I'll, I'll show you the, 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 in the next video that I do, I'm gonna show you everything I have in the car and I'll show you the welcome video. And I do that and they're like, wow, I never even had a welcome video. That's pretty awesome. You're pretty organized so you really take this serious. You must love what you do. And I do. And at the end of the ride, I never, you know, end a ride without making a statement. And this statement does several things for you. It tells you what they're going to rate you, okay, because they, they will give you an answer to your statement. It tells you what they're going to rate you. It also reminds them to rate, rate you. And it also reminds them to hey this is the moment right now where you're going to show me how valuable i am to you and how much fun you had in this ride and how awesome it was compared to every other uber and lyft ride that you've taken okay and this is a statement as i'm getting to their destination i say to them i hope that i provided you with five star service today and then comes their answers you sure did man this was the best uber ride ever the best lyft ride ever 
Wow, man. Yes, you did. I, definitely. I'm going to rate you five stars. Definitely. I'm going to do it right now. And, and then at that moment, they, they, they bust out with their wallets and they, the cash. Here you go. Minimum tips that I get for the service that I provide, $5. Every once in a blue moon. It's very uncommon that I get $3 here. $2 there. Never, never anything less than $2. But the majority of the time, it's nothing less than 5 Last night alone, and I have a video that I can show you guys to prove it because I have a dash cam here. Last night alone, I had an $8 fare from the airport to downtown. $8 fare. The lady gave me $20 in cash as a tip. An $8 fare, she gives me $20. So I made $28 and 40 something cents on that ride. In 20, she goes, you were so worth it. I loved your energy. I loved everything that you offered. Thank you so much. I never had a ride like that before. You made the experience so awesome for me. It was literally 15 minute ride. And I got a $20 tip off of it. This is my advice to you guys. You don't have to do this. You don't have to make the investment if you don't want to. But the investment it pays for itself. I personally have bought bottle of water maybe about five or six times because you offer it. Most people don't take it. In the bottle, that big pack of 12, it's like $1.25, guys. And I bought it five times, so it's less than $7. And in one tip, I get that money back. In one tip. So... Is it worth it? Absolutely. I got gum. The gum that I spent $4 on the four packs of gums for different flavors. I've had them for two months and 80% of the gum is still there. People don't take it, but it's good to offer it. The mints, the same thing. The lights have paid for themselves over and over again. So these are things that you can do to make your ride more enjoyable for the for the person, for the writer. And, and, and it, it puts you on a higher level than the average writer. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm here in San Antonio. You guys, you guys can do it. You don't do it. You probably see me in the airport. I come in the airport. My whole van is glowing, glowing, and you can see that from my previous video. You know, and and they they get in the car like, whoa, this is like a party van. This is like a limo and everything. And I get that feedback from them. My my rating speaks for itself. I got very high ratings, and the tips uh, speaks for itself. So I'm very successful in that area. This is what I suggest that you guys do. You don't have to do it. I'm not going to hate you if you don't do it because if you don't do it and you pick up a passenger, they're going to have that experience, you know, with you. And then there's going to be the day that I pick them up and they'll be like, wow. So the impact is going to be even greater for me. The tips are going to be even greater for me if you don't do this, you know, because I'm doing it either way. Now, I, I've done, I've been that person, pick up, nice talk, drop off. Nothing fancy, no offers, no nothing. And the results have been pretty low. Now, I'm never going back. Every time you get in my car, it's like a luxury ride. It's like you're paying for a limo. It's not really expensive stuff. It's really simple stuff. I get everything at Walmart and Amazon. It is what it is. <clears throat> and I get paid for it. That's my suggestion to you guys. You know, if you got any comments or any other ideas or is there anything else that I'm not doing that you're doing that's very successful, I'd like to hear about it. God bless you guys. This is Daniel the Transporter from San Antonio, Texas. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.